Thank you so much for waiting and for giving me this time. Thank you for coming back to me. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's oh, too, it's okay. It still hurts. It's okay. At least I'll be ready for round two. <laughs> there should never have been a round one. I know. Well, hey, look where it got us. I mean, if you ask me, it was well worth it. Where's Hope? It's just like you thought. She left with Liam. <sighs> He's really cashing in on this. And why shouldn't he? You basically handed him the winning ticket. Oh, go ahead. Blame me. Everybody else is. Maybe because it is your fault. You know what? I am done defending myself. Oh. It's tragic, but by no measure of logic am I responsible for Ridge flying off to Abu Dhabi and falling out of a helicopter. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to lose hope over this. Fine. And what are we going to do about it? I'm sorry, we? You say it's my fault, so I'm going to help you fix it. Uncle Ridge went all the way to Abu Dhabi to stop the wedding. Why? Something happened when he was over there. Ali, your uncle's been in an accident. What kind of accident? He and my mother were in a helicopter and, and Ridge fell out. He fell out of a helicopter in the Persian Gulf. Oh, dear God. He went there to break up the wedding and he took off with my mom. And <sighs> Uncle Bill chased after them. Ridge had arranged for a helicopter Got my mom in there, he got in, they took off over the golf. I don't know, something must have happened or unexpectedly banked. And he fell out. What, what happened to him? He's missing, Ali. They haven't found him. You have already done enough, Mom. Ridge is in the water, probably floating face down. We're bound to lose our jobs. Hope is pissed at me for knocking Liam out. Yes, but that felt. Good, didn't oh, it? God, All those yes. horrible things he was saying about me. Yes, but the point is, okay, she promised to make a decision. And now this happened. She's not going to choose Liam. Mom, she warned us. No more dirty tricks. And then you sent that picture to Ridge of, of you and Dad. You and your manipulations. Me with the diamond heist and, and belting Liam. I can only imagine what Hope is thinking of us. Oh, honey, you're overreacting. You think I can overreact to this? I could jump out the window and that would be an underreaction. She loves you, Wyatt. She's never going to be satisfied with Liam and that is a fact. I have a plan. Oh no. Your mom? Uh, they haven't found Ridge yet. Listen, I, I know that... I, I said some really pessimistic things about Ridge earlier, and you should ignore that. I was being stupid. Don't... don't stop believing. Liam, are we just fooling ourselves? Fooling yourself? That's not the same as believing. He's been gone a long time. But even if you were gone for a month. I mean, they haven't found a body. He only fell, like, what, a mile off the coast? And, and who knows, the helicopter might not have been flying that high. Thank you for being so positive. I am about some things. You and me being one example. I never stop believing in that. I understand they're searching this area here. They've got boats, they've got planes. The government's been extremely cooperative. You said he wasn't that far offshore when he fell. Right. Well, maybe Ridge swam in. Anything's possible. And aren't there a lot of boats in that area as well? Right, there, there are pleasure boats and, and sailboats. There must be hundreds of them there. Yeah, there are. Well, then maybe someone picked him up. Well, then why haven't they alerted the authorities? Look, all I can tell you is that nobody's giving up. My dad and Katie are already there. Thorn's on his way. 
They're not gonna leave until they find him. Save the champagne for when Ridge is safely on a plane back to L.A. Thanks. What are you thinking? I feel like an idiot. Why? How many times did you warn me about Quinn? Yeah, but Hope, that's behind us now. Do you realize that we'd be married right now if it weren't for her? She brought Steffi to L.A. on our wedding day. On our wedding day, Liam. I fell right into the trap. She knew that I'd overreact, and I did. Yeah, but at the time, Steffi was a huge issue for us. Yeah, but to get taken in by Quinn over and over again, it's like she had me dangled like a puppet. Had. Had you dangled. Past tense. Yeah. No, you're right. When I think about everything that I put you through these past few months... I would have gone through a lot worse, and it would have been worth it. I'm so grateful you hung in there. It really wasn't that hard. There isn't another Hope Logan out there, anywhere. Kind of makes it easy. Just give it to me straight. What, what are you up to? What's that? The keys to the Big Bear cabin. Where'd you get them? Pam's desk. Mom! Let me explain something to you. Liam is with Hope in Malibu. <sighs> he needs one-on-one -on -one time with her, and so do you. Mm -hmm. He's getting it, and you're not. Do you want alone time with Hope? Do you? Yes. And this is the ticket. The place where it all began. The mountains. Wyatt, the woods, your favorite haunt. What better place to take her? Call her. Now. Before she does something with Liam that you're both gonna regret. <laughs> we have waited a long time, huh? Yeah, I think we've earned it. I think we've earned every incredible moment waiting for us. <laughs> There's something I have to do first. Yeah, you have to talk with Wyatt. <sighs> you understand. Of course I understand. He means a lot to you. I really, I felt something very honest with him. But after everything that he and his mom have done, I mean, the stolen diamond and all the tricks that Quinn has played on us. I think that I was just choosing to ignore all that when Wyatt and I were together, but once Quinn sent that photo to Ridge, that was it. You know, I, I'm not gonna put up with it any longer. The problem with Quinn is, is that she has no sense of right or wrong, and my biggest fear has been that that's gonna spill over onto you. Well, it has several times. You no, know, but I'm talking about something more than like a prank, you know? I mean, this thing with Ridge, it, it, it could result in his death, you know? I hope to God it doesn't, but I keep thinking, that could have been you, you know? And I, I don't mean to sound 
melodramatic, but it, the more time somebody spends around those people, the more their life is in danger, and you're no exception. I feel bad for Wyatt to have a mother like that. Yeah, I do too, but he's a grown man. I mean, he's got to cut ties with her. Frankly, I, I think you've got to cut ties with both of them. I'm going to go see him. I'll be waiting for you. Questions. Uncle Ridge, why did he go over there again? I told you to stop the wedding. But isn't he engaged to Katie? Yes, Charlie. He's marrying Brooke's sister. Ridge and Brooke will always be close. Uh, are you saying that Katie's okay with this? Well, Katie definitely has her own issues with Brooke marrying Bill. Yeah, well, she ought to. The guy's a first-class jerk. Hey! Oh, sorry, Caroline. He's your uncle. I shouldn't have said Look, that. I'm sorry. I still don't get it. Was Uncle Ridge planning on doing this? No. So he suddenly just flies halfway across the world? That's about it, yeah. Frick. There must be something else. Something sent him over there. What? What was it? Quinn. She emailed Ridge a picture that she took. Uh, one of those selfies. A picture of herself? <sighs> no. Of her and Bill Spencer. Hi. Hey, where are you? Uh, I'm on my way to the office. Uh, look, we need to talk, Hope. I know, that's why I'm heading over. I'm not at Forrester. Okay, where are you? I have a request. Meet me up at the cabin in Big Bear. <laughs> Wyatt, no. I'm already here. I, I, don't, I don't think that that's a good idea. Do you really want to have this conversation in a sterile office? No. So, Big Bear then? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. Uh, you're alone. Oh, so no one will find the body? Ugh, you're sick. What do you want, Quinn? Where's Hope? She'll be back. Oh. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. Oh, I would. We're together now. This time for good. So the hyena is involved in this? Quinn's a part of the equation. <laughs> to say the least. OK, so she sent a picture to Uncle Rich, a selfie of her and Bill Spencer. Well, what were they doing? No, they, they weren't. Yeah, Allie, they, they were. Well, 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 wait a minute, you mean they were... Uh, Charlie, I don't think there's a, a need to paint a picture. Oh. Well, it was enough to send Ridge all the way to the Middle East to show Brooke exactly what she was getting into. But why would Quinn do that? For the same reason she does everything, Allie, to get what she wants. In this case, Bill Spencer. That's certainly a theory. No, it's more than a theory, Rick. It's a fact. She knew how Ridge felt about Bill and the marriage. And she knew that by sending that photograph, exactly how he'd react. That woman is the devil. You took advantage of a family tragedy and you call me evil? <laughs> oh, God. Spare me the warped logic, OK? Bottom line, this time, you lose, I win. Really? And Hope is going to take it out on Wyatt by breaking up with him. Is, is that what you think? Because they're together right now. I know, Quinn. She's at the office breaking up with him. I encouraged it. Oh, is that so? You know, actually, I thought you would be there cheerleading him. Oh, no, I think my son has things well in hand over at the office. OK, you know what goes around comes around. Yeah, she's upset with me for no good reason, but that's beside the point. She's not going to break up with Wyatt. OK, you keep telling yourself that. Oh, I don't have to. I know what's going down. 
So you should prepare yourself for disappointment because there will be a broken heart tonight, but it won't be my son's. Top with the audio visuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit. I figured I could use all the help I could scrounge up. Um, I, how did you even get in here? The, the key. Your mother? Your old mom. Once in a while, she has a good idea. Yeah, most of the time, she doesn't. Hey. We're not here to talk about my mom. Are you sure? Are you sure she's not in the other room? I don't condone... Okay, I, I condone maybe 2% of, of what she does. But she's my mother. I couldn't let Liam trash talk her like that. She crossed a line. Wyatt, and she really hurt someone that I love. And, well, let's hope that that's not the case. Regardless, that was her, not me. We are two completely different people, Hope. Tell me you haven't forgotten who we are. You know, I, uh, I went for a walk earlier before you got here. Um, just wanted to check it out. What? Where it all started. You and me. I take it you were fully dressed this time. Yes. <laughs> And I felt way overdressed. <laughs> but I, I brought you here to remember what happened that day. And every day after that, a footloose guy who enjoyed his freedom until something came along that he loved even more. First kiss, right out there. You remember? a little fuzzy. Nothing's changed. My mom, my mom did something incredibly stupid. My mother, Hope, not me. I know you're upset and, and trust me, I am too. But I can't let you hold that against me. I will not lose the only woman that I have ever loved because of something that I had nothing to do with. It can't end like this, Hope. And you don't want it to either. 